Oh, How are you? Day in and day out, I think about Friday, December 9th, 2016. That was one of the most emotional days and journeys I've ever been on as a reporter and also as a man. Now, it was the day that the Walsh family joined me along with drug lobbyist Jay Lasseter, who's here in studio, and interventionist Blake Saba from Ambrosia Treatment Centers to locate and try to save the heroin addicted and homeless TJ Walsh on the cold, cold streets of Philadelphia. What we're looking to do is offer you a full scholarship to come to our program for a full 30-day stay free of charge. When can I leave? Right now. Right now. Our fairy tale ending was actually only the beginning. After seven days of detox and only six days in rehab, TJ Walsh walked out. So I knew from the moment I got there that it wasn't going to work. I caught up with him on Friday with his sister, Christy. I'm not going to go away. I'm hurting a lot of people, I know. Come on, get it out. Every time I see anyone, I get beat off about what I'm doing and where I'm at. I'm not trying to make you feel worse exactly about yourself. TJ assures us that he wants to be clean. He wants the good life that he sees passing by him him every single day as he stands panhandling to feed his addiction. I've told the people in the rehab, like as nice as it was there and as good as the food was, like I really do not mind being out here one bit. It's like camping, you know? I'd love to have my old life back. I would lo love to go back to the day when I started using and make a different decision to where I would have continued the life, of the successful life I had. Our one buddy worked for the government. He was a border patrol agent at one point. He was an inspector for the FDA now. He's sleeping under a bridge. Everyone knows what it's like to have a normal life because we all had one at one point. However, he feels like he needs to do it on his own terms. You always want to have one more. And the last time I yeah. used, I wasn't, I didn't know it was going to be the last time. With us in studio is Jay Lasseter. Jay was with me from the moment we started this journey uh, to try and find and save TJ and his also been in TJ's shoes regarding addiction and the struggle to become clean. Jay, I know you have a lot to say. What do you feel about what's happened since? Well, that last high that an addict longs for, like I still have that feeling 13 years later. And it's important that addicts know that that's never gonna go away. You just have to figure out a way to manage that feeling. Jay, let me ask you, at any point is, does anger creep into this conversation? I, I am mad. <laughs> Um, and I think that's okay. I'm mad of what he's done to his mother. I'm, I'm ashamed because it makes me think of what I did to my mother. And you know, the truth is all of these people who he's wronged and who are mad at him right now, we're all gonna forgive him mm -hmm. the minute he gets his right. act together. We've known who TJ Walsh is for what, 60 days? You know, yeah. his family's been dealing with this for five years. Dottie Walsh, the, his mother, Christy told me that that was the first time she saw a real smile in her mom in, in years that night. How much do cameras and all the attention of viewers play in a role of somebody trying to recover? It's hard to say, but I think in this instance, pressure is a privilege and the cameras yeah. that were in his face they absolutely gave him a lifeline. And you know what? Eventually one of these lifelines might kick in. And we should congratulate ourselves for our efforts because not only have we made a valiant effort to save someone's life, but this show has raised so much awareness on this issue. I think we've woken New Jersey up by now. When we first put out the story of TJ going to rehab, there were so many people rooting for him. But we have to remember, like you said, that's a lot of pressure, and I think that's why he went back to the streets. He did not have to talk to me on Friday. He could have walked right away from me, but I think the reason why he's doing that is to, for others to see what he's going through so maybe he can help a family. And he left us with a message to uh, some parents out there. I don't know what to tell the people who are already in a using situation, but I know for the parents who thinks their kids might be using or notice a difference in their kids, <laughs> as much as it sucks for the kids, like, parents, they really do not let your kids fall into this.